Tomstown has been open and thriving for three weeks. We got a chance to sit down and talk with one of the co-founders. Uh, so Tom Pendergast was the political boss of Kansas City in the 20s and the 30s. He ran everything and everything had to go through Tom Pendergast. So as long as you could pay, you could play and everybody played. And because there of uh, Pendergast power, there was no prohibition in Kansas City. It's called the Paris of the Plains for a reason. Anything goes and everything did go. So it was an incredibly exciting time. It lasts for about 18 years and then finally the party is over when Roosevelt says enough's enough uh, and brings in a prosecutor and puts Pendergast in prison where he then later dies. Pendergast had a gang called the Goats. My grandfather was in a gang called the Rabbits. The Rabbits and the Goats did not get along and so my grandfather was ran out of business and the Goats then take over. I fell in love, I've been living in New York for the last 18 years and fell in love with this kind of second Kansas City Renaissance. The first Renaissance being obviously when Tom Pendergast was allowing all this culture to blossom. And the same thing is really happening now in a different way. Inspired by the Roaring Twenties, Tomstown is designed after a classic piece of modern literature. We wanted you to step into here and think of Gatsby because this is Gatsby, except that he's nonfiction. And it's so authentic and so real. And is that crazy? That's awesome. So it is off awesome here. Right now, we're really just a tasting room, a tap room, and that's essentially a bar. And while that's extremely important, and we also have a restaurant, that's extremely important. The reason we're here is because we want to be able to sell uh, our spirits around the region, if not the country. For SMEHarbinger.net, this is Gabe Snyder. The people are thirsty, and we want to sell it to the people.